All right, modern jets. Um, basically, all in all, the missile knows where it is. It knows this because there's tiny gnomes inside the missile that tell the missile where to go. And they jump out at the last second before impact. The real They're heroes fine. of the modern combat zone, the gnomes. Uh, mm. The but all in all, modern jets have have been uh, essentially what made missiles good in the first place has essentially just dumped their research and development into that, into making that effective. Uh, I know the F-35, for example, in the top left there can hit targets outside of its radar range by linking up to drones and using their radar to ping enemy aircraft and will dude then they can launch a missile crazy stuff like that essentially it's it's that thing that happened to the i, I think the iraqi air force but worse who is texting you okay can, can i go on a quick aside here like yeah, if, I, if i was if i was a general okay and you're, you're putting me in charge like a um a war game okay we're, we're doing a hypothetical war game um and setting it in the modern age um the number one thing I'm picking up first is any vehicle with data link. I'm doing it. First thing, it is disgusting what you can do with that. Like, generally at this point, most of our the United States Air Force fleet is just missile boats. Um, or at least the plan is just to use them as missile boats. We're going uh, Fox 3 active radar homing all the way maximum stealth basically penetrate someone's air air zone and shoot down their whole air air force and just keep repeating that until there isn't an air force left and then seed whatever seed and deed whatever's left it's disgusting at that point it's it's like trying to any nation that doesn't have advanced systems like that that could do something similar to that with a data link and radar hopping is Effectively, a tiger being released in a geriatrics home. Yeah, and the the thing that doesn't have dad link is the geriatric. Mm. Like yesterday, I was just um, I was watching re rewatching an episode of Dog Fights, the greatest TV show to ever exist. And they they're. They, they set up a scenario when they're talking about these modern jets, and they're like, so four F-22s walk into a bar, and there's uh, 34 MiG-25, uh, MiG-29s, and Rafales flying directly at them. Now, the Americans know what they need to do, so they fly directly at, at, at their opponent, who outnumbers them like six to one. So what do they do? They get on the phone, they call two B-1 bombers, and they just spam AIM-120 Ds like a boss. I forgot, mm, I forgot about it's that. It's disgusting. Uh, there, oh, it's like there's a, it's like a hypothetical situation if a, uh, say a Chinese flight squadron is running at a, uh, running up upon a, say a, a Lockheed uh, AC-130 Spectre gunship. And then it goes. It's, oh, so they have that. Oh, they have a, a trans. They, they have a, a transponder on. We can suppress. Why are we getting several missile locks? Are those B ones? Yeah, are those bombers? Why are the missiles coming at us? Dead. Well, I mean that's like the B twenty B twenty one Raider. They're they're gonna put AMRAMs on it. I, I'm convinced. Mm. And then, and then and you know they're gonna put it you know they're gonna put AMRAMs on a B fifty two. They're gonna do it. Um I don't think they are. That that is one of the plans that's not getting AMRAMs. Uh yeah, because it has Tomahawks. Yeah. Or uh, Tomahawk. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can launch we can launch Tomahawk from a B fifty two. It's like at this point we don't even need naval destroyers. Well, I mean we do, but it's like it's like, it's like oh we're we are so we are outside of their uh they were their their tomahawk range at the destroyers. Why is that a B fifty two locking onto us? Well, the, the thing. Well, the thing is, like, if you had a B a B fifty two, and you used it as a missile missile boat, one, it, that would be disgusting. Two, you would basically be guaranteed you you might lose the B fifty two, because 
the AIM 120Ds that, that are should be coming out soon, they don't have the range of something like a Tomahawk cruise missile or the um, some of the new stuff that they've got trying out right now, which is equally disgusting. Uh, basically like the long-range anti-ship cruise missiles that have got an absurd range that basically glide in and then cut their motors on. Like better versions of the of the Dong Fangs. Uh, yeah, our versions, but the Dong Fangs aren't stealthy. Exactly. Uh, Dong Fangs are actually dumb. So basically, um, the the old the Dong Fangs are high high maneuverability until they enter descent. The moment they descend, they lose all maneuverability. It goes into the dumpster because they're a basically kinetic penetrator um, and are probably the closest thing that you have to a true hypersonic missile because, like, the, the Iskander M's, they're, they're not hypersonic. They max out at, like, Mach 3.3. They're not hypersonic. They might have like a terminal velocity of hypersonic, but they don't travel at hypersonic speeds. Either way, all in all, the I'm sorry, are, 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 are... tangent. <laughs> Either way, all in all, all I can really say for modern jets is missiles are peak. That, that's about it. Because they are. Guns are there for when everyone runs out of missiles. Exactly. And in that case, just bring more missile. Which even at that point, it's uh, we've just run out of missile. Uh, it's it's um, it's it's Charlie Four. We've run out of missile. Our my flight wing has run out of missiles. So as a as a as, a, as a Roger that Char, Charlie Four. Uh, this is Delta One here. Uh, I can ping. The enemy, I can ping enemy aircraft off your radar. Uh, one second, they should be gone in a few minutes. They should be gone in a few seconds. Yeah, it, and then you have a fighter who just wants their missiles and and just vaporize the enemy forces. Mm -hmm. Well, and the the at least for Gen Five and Gen Six aircraft, they're absolutely disgusting. That link is nasty, but it's keeping trailing like Gen Four point. Uh, Gen 4 and Gen 4.5 aircraft relevant. So what the military has done is, since we can't stealth them, we'll just turn them into electronic warfare vehicles, basically. And have them to relentlessly scream at your enemy's radar. <laughs> Which, it, it won't completely despite what th people think about growler packages on like F-16s and F-18s and F-15s, the growler package, which is basically just a anti-radar uh, electronic warfare scrambler that basically emits um, signals that your radar is going to pick up but what it does is it deep and it doesn't obscure every um, uh, jet in like a formation because the radar can still see you it, it sees that there's a signal over there but it prevents the system from generating a lock and it would be a gamble whether or not launching a missile if the active radar seeker could actually get close enough to redirect onto a jet um, but what you're doing is you're basically decreasing their minimum engagement distance so not only do you have stealth aircraft with them but you're decreasing how soon the uh, like an S four hundred battery can see something like an F twenty two, which is already way too close. Like the moment you're gonna have like a um, one of the S four hundred or Chinese knockoffs of an S four hundred spot an F twenty two or an F thirty five, it's already too late. Y you have a hard point, point straight where, in your face. You have you have you have angered God and then some at you. Yeah, proceed to get glide bombed, idiot. Like it's 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 
it's uh, the U.S. is essentially saying it's. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm just. It's 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 it's, it's, it's data link not fair. It, it, it's, I don't know why I was doing British with Chinese. Uh, uh, data link, data link, not a fair. You're not a fight a fair terms. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just better. Is it US is like I'm just better, dude. Like just like just get good. Correct. And but, um, Gen four aircraft can still be a threat to Gen five and six aircraft. Well, sure. Gen five definitely. Gen six, the jury's still out on that. Um, basically, um, as long as you're using appropriate formations or you're going to use something like the, um, um, the PLA Air Force has the, gosh, I forget the name of their missile, but it's basically a long range, uh, Fox 3 missile that they have on their J-20s. That's really good. So if you just have a lot of really good missiles, you can still get good performance out of your Gen 4s. And keep in mind, your Gen 4s are going to be cheaper than their Gen 5s, whoever it is. So you can you can still get a good cost effectiveness out of them. It's just you need to take appropriate steps and realize you're not fighting Gen 4 or Gen 4.5 aircraft. You're going to need a lot of range. Oh, yeah. Because... You're either going to need a lot of range, you're going to need to be be able to just crank the airframe to its absolute limits to notch missiles, which is basically where you fly perpendicular to an air, um, um, an incoming radar miss, uh, radar guided missile, and force it to lose lock. Um, but it does it doesn't look good for Gen Four aircraft. The, the best thing that you can do with them is upgrade them with electronic warfare packages, uh, pack them full of chaff, and uh, hopes and prayers right now. But uh, Gen, Gen 4 um, aircraft do have a lot of stuff that they still can do. Like, Rush is still trying to use their Gen 4 for, like, air superiority, but it's not working very well. Yep. Which honestly could be chalked up to other things. Uh, well, it's mostly just lack of numbers and uh, inability to, to field enough aircraft at any given time to, to actually do the damage you need to do. Um, right. With that, uh, but with that said, uh, I ha that's all I have for this slide. I think the Gripen's a beautiful aircraft. I do like that one. If they would just like please, that. for the love of all that's holy, make that thing cheaper. You cannot charge a country the same price for an F-35 that, it, like, you are more expensive than an F-35. At least for the <laughs> new Gripens. It's, it's absurd. Saab, please decrease your cost. It is absurd. No one is buying the aircraft like unless the price is lower. I do like the um, the South Korean fighter there at the bottom right. Oh, it's, <laughs> South Korea's military Excuse industrial me. complex is beautiful. Uh, they oh, don't yeah, get for sure. enough love. Or uh, um, the K twos are underrated for sure. What the K two? The the Black Panther. Yeah. Oh no, Poland's buying a ton of those things. Oh yeah, for sure. And you know, South Korea going as as a, as a you uh you you want to take a wall? Okay, I think they're selling like their older um like second generation K twos, like um, stuff they had in the nine. I think they're selling the new ones only because Poland also wants like the set V threes, uh, Abrams. <clears throat> Um, although gen generally speaking, Poland just wants tanks. They want to get rid of everything that's old. They're like T seventy two clones. Get out of the window. You're it's 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 atrocious. It hurts my eyes. Get rid of it. Oh, what's it called? It's like it's it sees T seventy two in action in Ukraine. Doesn't go well. Sweats profusely. Yeah, they they're basically. 
I think they've sent just about all of their T-72 fleet. Um, they just don't want it. It is an abomination to them. They're Poland is redoing their army, and I, I think they're doing the right thing. Like, they want to buy, I think, 500 High Mars. They want to buy a couple hundred Abrams, a couple hundred K2 Black Panthers. Um, they want to use some of the South Korean APCs, but they also want to use their own domestic one. Yeah. And I think they also want to get some K, um, the K50, uh, KF-51 Panthers. Oh, yeah. Although I'm interested to see what the actual production on the KF-50, KF-51 Panther is going to look like and how it performs. Because Ukraine says they want them, like, yesterday. Hmm. And then you've got Turkey. Well, that you got, did you see the upgrade package that Turkey had for the freaking M60? Uh, did not. Oh, you Dude, know, yes, is, I did, actually. It is the ugliest thing to ever exist. What, like that, uh, that Abram, like that Abrams M60 upgrade they did for, um, where they put an Abrams turret on an M60 chassis? No, it, it's a custom turret. It is a cut. It is an entirely new turret. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying, is, I'm saying, is it? It's just as ugly. No, it's uglier. It it looks like a T80 turret on the top of an M60, but like That's... with ERA all over it. That's so bad. The worst mm, thing is, rough. like, the prototype was painted orange, and then they drove it around and expected people to like it. Although, I mm. know that there's going to be, like, probably one or two countries that picks up a handful, because there's always that one person. It has, like, a new car burst, but... Okay, uh, at this point, I think I am out of time. And we have gone so far off of modern jets, and we have actually concluded our points on this thing. It's you're just re- listening to two autistic people ramble on about stuff. I mean, if you wanted to listen to like a live stream of this, we could do it. Just autistic rambling. Yeah, aut- autistic ramblings. We could go for days. What are you talking about? We need to sleep. Um, I mean, we did like a six-hour just rambling about the Panzer IV. Yeah, we did. Uh, oh, what did we what did we ramble on about for like the dumbest reason? Uh, of, of Bradley, just... we got angry oh, at yeah. each other. Dude, yes. Um, dude, we got angry at each other about the Bradley. Um, we, we, I think we were discussing the. No, 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 no. I, I got to stop myself. I'm not. We're not going down that hole. We're not going down that rabbit hole. Um, we're still live recording and I'm, I'm not going to subject subject you guys to this if now okay if you want to hear it just leave a leave a comment and let us know we will live stream us just just uh bashing each other's brains out over here yeah i mean in uh, minecraft but uh um, although it, it, it the conversation mostly revolved around suspect like what would our upgraded bradley look like like what's the upgrade path look for like the modern like the um Sort of like twenty thirties, twenty forties. Bradley look like. Actually, I think I think the the thing we got upset we got upset or rather we had we got upset at each other about was how the U.S. performance of vehicles in Iraq. Oh no, that and, that got and, you upset, and then you were like, "This upsets you," and I was like, "Yes, this upsets me greatly." Um. No, it was more so we got confused where it's... It, anyways, that's a whole... That's a subject for an entirely different time, but all in all... Do you want to do that? Um, I, actually, we could do the... For, like, yeah. the next brief. Uh, mm, I'll have to... Please, if, you're, if you watch this and you actually get this far, please just leave a comment if you want to see that. Um, I will do... I will, I, we will do it. We will do it. Uh, uh, oh... Uh, also, if you've gotten this far, congratulations, you did your homework. I was thinking about a while back doing a little uh, video idea where we criticize Vigi games. Where I suffer in, like, say, Call of Duty Vanguard or Call of Duty World War II. Or, uh, or even playing Black Ops 2 and going, okay, this is probably not this would go down with, you know, this and that. So just, just let us know about that. And because, honestly, that sounds fun. You guys, not for me, because I'm going to be suffering playing Call of Duty Vanguard. Oh, that game sucks. Mm. But uh, I would, I will do it for you guys. I will do, I will do it for you guys. 
So just let me know about that if you made it this far because you are a loyal listener. Thank you very much. Um, with that said, I think we're just going to go ahead and end it here. We've been ramp, we've been yeah for too long. So um, unless you have anything else to say, Kento, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm all good. I'm all good. All right, sweet. So with that said, uh, thank you for listening to us yap on for a while um, because there is nothing else, nothing better you could be doing. <laughs> At least I don't think so anyway. Um, but it, but in all honesty, thank you for watching this video. We, we greatly appreciate it. And please check out our other content. You know, do the whole, you know, the, the, don't forget to like and subscribe, right? That whole thing. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but go ahead. Do it. Do you it. won't. Anyways, so with that said, thank you for watching. Uh, whatever time it is, have a good one. Uh, get back to work, please. My, I, I, I don't even pay you. Get back to work, please.